One of our patrol units noticed an SUV that appears to be loaded full of pounds. Uh, by the size of the SUV, we could probably guesstimate it's more than 200 pounds. Uh, upon surveillance, they noticed a pretty recognizable character here within the industry, a man by the name of Cali Plug. Uh, not one of my favorite people on earth. About 12 years ago, he was one of several that was Cali Plug and my wife. Um, since then, he's been doing pop-up sales on Snapchat. Now I've heard he's on to fake track and trace and falsified documents making white market purchases. He's a backdoor boy, uh, but he's one of the top level. So we're going to move in on him today and see what we can't find out. Hey, partner, do me a favor and crack the window of that cruiser. He's worried about his dog suffocating, even though it's only 60 degrees out here. Compliant boy. You better hope your paperwork checks out. I see the chain. Hey, you bro, see this I was, chain? Hey, bro, I was just letting my dog take a shit on the side of the road. What the fuck is the problem? Well, check this out, buddy. You got an SUV loaded to the fucking roof full of units. And if that paperwork doesn't check out, this is your last stop. Hey, partner, compliant boys, paperwork checking out or what? Yeah, it looks official. Other than the fact that you used to Cali plug your wife a decade ago, he's clean. Looks like you're clear to go, asshole. After a quick search, get your hands on the hood. Well, yeah, get him up there. Hurry up. Is this the bag you're using to collect your dog's shit? No, that's my flower. Well, it just got confused for a bag of dog shit. Take it back to Southern Cali, asshole. Welcome to this high design quick pack. The clip that just showed before this, well, that was from a skit from the BMV YouTube channel. Make sure to go check out their channel and go subscribe. But in this high design quick pack episode, we're going to be covering one of the more interesting cannabis brands slash cannabis entrepreneurs in the industry that being the cali plug please make sure to hit the like button subscribe if you are not already comment down below share this video and follow me on all the social media links those are down below in the description this is lmc let's get into it okay so it seems that the cali plug has been around since 2006. now the cali plug brand and the individual that it's based off of the main kind of figurehead of it who people call the Cali Plug. Well, his name is Michael Myers. That's what it looks like from court documents of whoever trademarked the Cali Plug name in 2018. Now, coming up through medical and Prop 215 in California, Michael, or we're just gonna go by Cali Plug, you know, moving forward in this video, he's been a pretty brilliant marketer, a networker, and overall entrepreneur. So check out this clip from a podcast episode that I did almost a couple years ago with uh, CJ Humboldt of the Black Market Vikings, where he explains what are some of the strategies we've seen the Cali Plug utilize to grow his brand's reach and overall value. I guess like, how do you think the Cali Plug has kind of fared in like in kind of establishing himself in this new era of cannabis, new industry? Oh, well, well, I think he doesn't have to try to establish himself. He's yeah. there. Um, yeah. His Snapchat's a powerful, powerful move. His pop-up sales are very powerful. He's a great marketer because his styles, once again, he just came with something different. You know, you have to come with something different, but his thing is like, I'll show up to your city and I'll sell grams all day at your shop. 10 buck grams, right? I'll have 700 people wait in line, but that 700 people are posting online that they were there. So that line became a massive media storm and whoever's business paid him to do it won. You know what I'm saying? So he's very, very genius marketer. Um, very polite dude in real life. I like I don't like his online um behavior and shit. He's pretty loud, like crazy dude like that, but very polite gentleman. I will say that. That dude's very very gentleman, very cool dude, funny as fuck. But a uh, mutual friend, he was up here looking for some product um to white label and uh my homie's like, You wanna do a skit with them and and I just like at that point I was like, We're gonna freestyle this shit. And we did it end up me being like, your weed was mistaken for a bag of dog shit and like flicking the fun with them. But the fact that this dude was like, I'm willing to come up there, make a skit with y'all, post some shit on my page, support you, even though I'm way bigger than you. And I'll be the butt of the joke. Like, you're fucking good. You're locked in out here forever, homie. Like, respect forever. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was cool as fuck. And it was a fucking funny ass skit. Dude, Cali, Cali plugging your wife, man. No, that's yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's I want to work with him again, but I feel like he might be a little, he's like, ah, I ain't <laughs> that twice. But I had written a bunch of other stuff where like, 
Ernie like gets in a fight at the halfway house because the other dudes won't admit that Cali plugs his nephew and shit. And, like, <laughs> I got to talk him into it. I've texted him a couple of times where he just gives me like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll talk, you know, <laughs> uh, listening. don't yeah. worry. bro. We're not going to get you again. I mean, dude. Yeah. That guy's got, he's got a reach though, man. Like, like my homies, yeah, like they, nice. they, they all, they've been knowing about him forever. Um, and yeah, no, he's, he's, he's definitely got a reach. I got to say like, like, the persistence you have to respect the persistence this is you know you deal with a lot of hate a lot of negativity you're always putting yourself out there but you're doing it because you know there is some people that enjoy watching it you know what i'm saying so it's like you know think about it this dude gets you know what 15 20 thousand views on his snapchat every day and he's probably dealt with so much hate but he knows this twenty thousand people love this fucking shit he's saying so he's Absolutely. like i'm putting it out there like these fools are loving it it's coming out there fuck anything else you know so it's like there's a certain amount of loyalty that I guess goes on with like an influencer that's his his size. When I think about the Cali plug, I think of someone that is a genuine hustler, a true businessman. To reiterate and go a little more in depth with some of the strategies that were mentioned earlier, the Cali plug has been super effective in a few major ways. First way is his use of the pop-up events all around the country. While the pop-up event strategy has been used by plenty of cannabis brands nowadays to help build their brand's reach and awareness, it can't be denied that the Cali Plug was one of the first to implement this strategy in the social media era. Now, these pop-up events really were much more effective because the Cali Plug leveraged social media like Snapchat and Instagram, while also constantly marketing the Cali Plug brand in different arenas, one of those being like rap festivals. Right, the Cali Plug was really one of the first people to start to utilize major rap festivals as a way to network and market his product with celebrities and rappers. He would either sponsor festivals like Rolling Loud or buy backstage passes so he can make contact with rappers and celebrities so that he could give them some free samples of his product or apparel. You know, you see other people in different industries do this as well, but you know, really the Cali Plug and also the homies over at West Coast Cure are really the main ones that have been utilizing this tactic. But overall, the Cali Plug has utilized cannabis as a great mechanism to network with, you know, like I said, celebrities, rappers, other, you know, other folks. But he's really been great about putting himself there, making sure that, you know, he's at these, all of these events, make sure that he has a presence. And it starts to, over time, it started to compound and become a lot of, you know, there's a lot of momentum. I've talked about this in other videos before, like when people, you know, run street campaigns or whatever it may be, right, guerrilla marketing campaigns, that momentum can build up over time and really start to get your name out there. Listen to this clip from his podcast, in which he did a, a interview with Desto Dub, the founder of, that's an awful lot of cough syrup, the, the clothing brand. By the way, I did a video on Desto Dub on my Luke channel. If you want to check that out, I'll link it down below. But check this out. Well, well people don't realize you was on your grind. You was doing shows, this, working every day, networking, studios, boom, yeah. weed events, all that shit, Everything. man. Like, people got to know that. You know what I'm saying? Bro, put a lot of work in day to day to day to day to day. Yeah, look, well, this is the thing. Whenever you out and you doing all this traffic, selling everything, you start selling to a certain level of people. And to be around them certain level of people, you have to be there. So like you said, weed events, studios, parties, pop-up um, shop. Pop sh you have to be yeah. there. And the more you're there, the more Backstage you know these people, shit, you yeah. have to. And the more yeah. places you are, the bigger places, the bigger the purchase, the bigger everything is like goes around the big old circle. You feel me? Yeah. So you got to be on your... If you don't give a fuck, whatever you want to do, you got to be in them places. And then LA is just the perfect place to be there. By leveraging social media and constantly making appearances slash networking at festivals and events, he and his team have really been able to build brand awareness and that of the Cali Plug brand. A major theme you should take away in us analyzing the success of the Cali Plug brand is absolutely the persistence and continuous promotion of the brand for more than almost 10 plus years. Right, so like I said earlier though, the Cali Plug has leveraged, leveraged cannabis to establish relationships with rappers and celebrities. The brand has done many different collabs with different rappers currently i think they're doing a collab with the stink team which is the rap group that you know it was founded by the late great draco the ruler and is you know 
continued on with his brother, uh, Ralphie the Plug. But there's other instances of, you know, them doing collaborations with, you know, other brands and, and so forth. Now, he also has the Cali Bud or No Bud Studio in LA, which has served as a great place to throw events, host rappers, and more. And we'll get to the whole events here thing in, in a little bit more here in a sec. But like I said, that persistence and nonstop, nonstop grind that the Cali Plug has continued to have has definitely been a major reason why in many ways they've, you know, the brand has gotten so popular and the road to, you know, notoriety. Now, something that has been really interesting when it comes to the Cali Plug has been him recently pushing his NFT collection. Now, cannabis NFTs have not yet fully collided in the industry, but it seems him and his team have really jumped on this. Listen to me, there's something called the metaverse. If you guys don't know what the metaverse is, it's a VR virtual reality avatar of land, okay? In the metaverse, you can buy land and you can set up a dispensary, a storefront, a shop, uh, a clubhouse. You can set up whatever. You could build something out there and you don't get deleted because you own the land and it's decentralized. So that being said, everybody's got this fear of being deleted on Snap, Instagram, Telegram, all this. But guess what? You can just advertise your quadrants and your location of where you are in the metaverse and people can always find you there. You'll never get lost again. You'll never lose your data again. You'll never lose your following, your consumers, your network. Think about it. You have your location in the metaverse. They know the longitude and latitude of the metaverse. They find the location. And then inside the metaverse, you have your telegram, your Instagram, your snap link, your phone number, your WhatsApp, your signal, your discord, all your social media links, all your platforms in one spot. You could have a live secretary in the metaverse. So you could have someone answering all your questions inside <coughs> the metaverse. You could have your menu inside <coughs> the metaverse. So uh, they can literally... <coughs> Damn, shit. Good as fuck. Now, if you go to the Cali Plug NFT site, it talks about, first of all, talks about the overview of the brand. So let's go over this. So the brand says right the cali plug brand stands to be one of the most prominent names in the cannabis and street culture in 2011 the brand was born with dreams of legalizing in cannabis leading the front lines of prohibition and gave the brand a rebellious title worldwide we're best known for creating a subculture within snapchat or snap trap and our unique cannabis marketing techniques with four major cannabis festivals across california the re-up festival and countless events under our belt, we plan to throw some of the best promotions in the NFT space. Now the artwork, they say the Cali Plug collection is 5,555 NFTs or non-fungible tokens made up of over 200 plus traits drawn by Cali Plug's very own innovative and Cali Plug's design team. Each plug carries its own unique set of traits which pays homage to the trap culture and the Cali lifestyle. Now the Cali verse, right? This is another component to this, right? So they say, join us on our journey as we merge legal cannabis with the blockchain technology and open our dispensary in the metaverse. Now this part's really interesting, right? They say, we look forward to it being as simple as putting on your VR headset, visiting our store, purchasing products, and your order being delivered in real life. Stay tuned for live events and NFT art gallery coming soon. That's what they say. Now let's go to the roadmap that they have for this. And I just wanted to say really quickly too, I, I'm always very, I'm not trying to promote this necessarily. I just want to analyze. I think there's some really interesting stuff that they're doing here. And I think it, you know, what I like about their NFTs so far is that I see utility, right? It's not like, it's not a pump and dump scheme. It seems like a long-term play. Now let's go over the roadmap and that'll make, you know, the reason why I say that is, you know, let's go over the roadmap. No, that'll make more sense here, but let's go over it. So their first in their roadmap says merch, right? Holders get access to exclusive NFT merch and have the ability to buy merch with tokens earned by holding Cali Plug NFTs. Now, giveaways. We're cooking up a ton of giveaways for holders, including but not limited to merch, Ethereum, NFTs, vacations, and more. Metaverse, first legal dispensary in Metaverse where you can shop online for home delivery. Staking, be able to generate tokens passively by staking your Cali Plug NFT. Now, events. Holders get access to exclusive holder-only parties every three months. 
And then they also have the LA Gallery Crypto Cafe. We've already acquired the NFT World Gallery and the Crypto Cafe where we'll be holding monthly crypto slash NFT events. So overall though, I think that like I said, I'm not trying to I'm not trying to promote them, I'm not trying to promote this NFT, but I think it's really interesting because what they're doing here is they're really one of the first brands to start to really utilize NFTs as a ongoing member, you know, membership pretty much. You buy an NFT and then you get all these perks like by getting, you know, invites to, you know, these these exclusive parties and then, you know, these discounts on merchandise. And I think that when we talk about building cannabis brands, building that brand loyalty will potentially doing an NFT, you know, drop where you have people that have that own the NFTs, they get exclusive perks because they're a member. I think that could be really effective for like a, you know, it's almost like in a, a much more um, intense version of like a loyalty program, but it's exclusive in a sense as well. That's about support system, bro. I support y'all, y'all support me, we support each other. Let's get it. That being said, we got a big event tomorrow, y'all. Tomorrow, we got a huge event, a mint party for the NFT. You can get a whitelist spot right now for the NFT. We see people like Gary V doing this with V Friends, where, you know, if you get if you buy a V Friend, then you get, you know, access to going to the, the V uh, festival that he throws every year. You get to be able to go to that. So my whole thing is with nfts you need to see utility behind it right you don't want any of these pump and dump scams that happen all the time you want people that are looking for the long-term play here now that's not to say i'm not promoting this by any means whatsoever and you know i just think it's a really interesting utilization of the new nft technology the blockchain technology so you know credits in there not gonna lie it's very cool to see now overall i think that the Cali plug, you know, some, some people may, you know, you know, there's been some controversy in the past with him, but I do think he's a true entrepreneur right now, back about three, four years ago, there was some controversy around these Cali plug carts. Now with any brand that really starts to pop off in the industry or the market, especially in LA, you tend to get a lot of impersonation, you know, uh, uh, you know, fraudulent, uh, you know, impersonating of, of brands. So you see a lot of fake carts, right? Fake cannabis cartridges. And, you know, there was a big thing that happened a few years ago where people were actually getting sick from these fake Cali plug carts. Now, I don't think that those at all were coming from the actual Cali plug team. What, you know, I think these were just, you know, impersonators that, you know, because their brand was getting faked quite a bit. So, you know, there is some controversy there, but I, I don't think he, that they really had anything to do with that. But I, got, I can't lie, like overall, when I like study this brand, when I really do my research on this brand and the person, you know, Michael, he's a true hustler, he's a true entrepreneur. And, you know, I, I can't, can't but not, you know, can't not have respect for the guy. So, you know, I think this is a really, you know, interesting brand to analyze. You know, I know there's a lot more to this story. I don't want to go too much into it because it's a quick pack, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please make sure to hit the like button down below. Hit the subscribe button. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Definitely follow me on all the socials. Anyways, this was a high design quick pack. My name is LMC. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.